All right, you guys. So yesterday was a pretty big day. I think a day that many people were waiting for. Fide finally made a statement on the Carlson Neiman polemic. So let's see what they had to say. All right, last week, world champion Magnus Carlsen resigned in a game played in an online competition against GM Hans Niemann before making his move too. The week before, he left an over the board tournament after losing the game to the same Mr. Niemann. These were not feed events, however, as the world's chess governing body, it is our duty to protect the integrity of the game and its image. And in view that the incident keeps escalating, we find it necessary to take a step forward. First of all, we strongly believe that the world champion has a moral responsibility attached to his status, since he is viewed as a global ambassador of the game. His actions impact the reputation of his colleagues, sportive results, and eventually can be damaging to our game. We strongly believe that there were better ways to handle this situation. All right, so I wonder what ways they would recommend, but let's keep going. At the same time, we share his deep concerns about the damage that cheating brings to chess Fide has led the fight against cheating for many years and we reiterate our zero tolerance policy toward cheating in any form. Whether it is online or over the board, cheating remains cheating. We are strongly committed to this fight and we have invested in forming a group of specialists to devise sophisticated and preventive measures that already apply at top Fide events. So I guess those measures are basically scanners, stuff like that, and maybe they also have their algorithm. But it does seem that Kenneth Reagan is their go-to guy and Fabiano alluded to this earlier. He says you have to take Reagan's algorithm with a grain of salt. As we already done before, Fide calls for reinforcing the cooperation between major online platforms, private events and top players, most of whom have already expressed their will to join efforts with Fide. Right, Fide is prepared to task its Fair Play Commission with a through investigation of the incident when the adequate initial proof is provided and all parties involved disclosed information at their disposal. We're fully aware that in some cases uncertainty can harm players' performance. It also can be damaging to a player's reputation. That's why we insist on the anti-cheating protocols to be followed. It is our hope that this whole situation could have a long-term positive effect if tackled properly. We propose to launch a dedicated panel that would include representatives of the leading chess platforms, grandmasters, anti-cheating experts, and FIDA officers in order to fight this risk and prevent it becomes a real plague. Arkady Dvorkovich, FIDA president. The whole statement doesn't say a whole lot, to be honest, but I do agree with the fact that online platforms do have to cooperate and they do have to work with FIDE because it is really odd that if a certain player is banned on a platform like let's say chess.com they are allowed to play let's say on chess 24 or Lee chess so I think there needs to be cooperation there but also with FIDE like I think if a player gets caught cheating I think you know chess.com or chess 24 or Lee chess should write a report to FIDE and if FIDE can do with that what they want you know but there should be communication there should be cooperation so that if a player who has been caught cheating online on chess.com will be monitored more closely over the board i think that definitely should be the case it's definitely good that fide finally made a statement and i guess right now we'll just have to wait for magnus to make a statement as he said he would make a statement after the tournament he has won the first match against arjun i believe there's one more so he'll he will make another statement in the near future. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you guys very soon.